In this video, I'm gonna show you the fingers for all 12 major scales. You wanna start off with one octave, and I'm gonna show you that first, then I'm gonna show you how to take them to two or more octaves. And there's timestamps below for each scale too, so you can bookmark this video and come back and check it when you're learning a particular scale. Or you can grab the handy PDF from my website, which has finger numbers and graphics for all 12 keys. I'm gonna show you these fingerings hands separately so you can see what's going on, but all the fingerings are identical when you put hands together. I'm mainly just gonna focus on the shape of each scale and the fingerings in this video. I just thought that having all 12 in one video here might be useful for just a quick reference so you can get the finger numbers and get the notes for the scale when you're practicing. I wanna do more scales, tips, and techniques videos soon, so let me know in the comments what you wanna see. Although I do have a playlist linked in the description with videos on each individual scale in one octave, which gets a bit more in depth. That playlist teaches you how to work towards playing each of these scales in one octave hands together, how to practice it in chunks. And I'm gonna do some follow-up videos for how to do that with two octaves if you're struggling to get this all together, but I advise practicing hands separately first. The first five scales I'm gonna show you all use the same fingerings, which is really handy. As a quick reminder, we number our fingers. Thumbs are one, and then we go outwards, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna start off with C major, that's just a straight line of white keys from C to C in one octave. And we go up these fingers and then we come down by just reversing those finger numbers. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one where I've got white and shaded areas, they represent the different finger blocks that you use. To take that to two octaves then, we're not gonna use our fifth finger at the top because that doesn't allow us to carry on. We just switch that to use our thumb and then we're in exactly the same position as we were in the first octave. So we can just repeat the same fingers again for the second octave, but then use five at the top. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. The left hand going up is like the right hand coming down and vice versa. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Two octaves. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to start going around the circle of fifths, which is just an order of keys where each key is a fifth above the previous. So a fifth above C is G. The G major scale now has one sharp. So if you picture a straight line from G to G, we now just have a bump in the shape on the seventh note of the scale. The fingering is just the same, we just have to move our hands forward slightly. With keys with a mixture of black and white keys, just be wary of your hand position, that you're holding your hand far enough forward so that you can reach the black and the white keys comfortably. If you hold your hand too far back, you're just pulling your fingers away from the black keys and you end up having to reach awkwardly over the top to get them. So G major in one octave in the right hand, feel the same pattern in your fingers as C. One, two, Three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Taking this to two octaves or more is just the same as C. Just keep the G's in mind as your markers for resetting the pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand in one octave. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Left hand in two octaves. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The next key, D major, now has two sharps. So if we picture the markers D to D, we still have the bump on the seventh note like we did in G, but now we have a bump on the third note as well. The fingers are just the same, so feel the same finger pattern happening just over a different shape on the piano. The right hand, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Two octaves, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand in one octave, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Left hand in two octaves. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one two, three, four, five. A major now has three sharps. We still have the sharp on the seventh note of the scale and the third like we did in the previous key D, but now we have a sharp on, on the sixth note of the scale as well. So we have this wave like this now. So the right hand is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And two octaves, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Left hand, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Two octaves, five. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three.
three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The next key E now has four sharps in it, and this is the last key that has the same fingers as C major. Three of those sharps are in the same place on the third note, the sixth note, and the seventh note of the scale. Now we're adding one onto the second note of the scale, so it's like the shape of the scale is gradually morphing. Here's one octave in the right hand. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Two octaves in the right hand. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. One, three, two, one. One octave in the left hand. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Two octaves in the left hand. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The next key, a fifth up from E, is B major. We now have five sharps, so that's every black key. There's only two white keys in the scale. And these fingers are very similar to C major. The right hand is just the same. We're gonna adjust the left hand when we get there. So the right hand in one octave, just the same as C. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Two octaves in the right hand. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. The left hand is now slightly different. We're not gonna use our fifth finger at all to play the B major scale in our left hand. We're gonna start on finger four. So one octave is this. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's two octaves. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to start moving the other way around the circle of fifths around the flat side. So for F major, imagine a straight line 
from F to F with just a bump on the fourth note of the scale, that's our B flat. And the right hand is gonna use different fingers to C major. We're not gonna use our fifth finger at all for the scale. Here's one octave. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Here's two octaves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. The left hand fingers are just the same as the left hand fingers for C major. Here's one octave. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And here's two octaves. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The next one round the circle of fifths is B flat major. We now have two flats. We carry over the B flat that we had in F, that's now the root, and then we have another flat that's now on the fourth note of the scale, like we had a black note on the fourth note of the F scale. These fingerings are gonna get quite different from what we've done so far now. And there's actually some alternate fingers that we can use for the beginning and endings of some of these scales. I'll show you one way of doing it first and then I'll show you the possible alterations you can make. So the right hand in one octave is gonna go four. One, two, three. 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 Four, three, two, one, three two, one, four. So we have finger four at the beginning and that's really for the sake of consistency because you need to have finger four when you reach the top or you need to have finger four here if you're gonna carry on and go and do another octave downwards. And for consistency, when you first start, that might be better to practice it that way. But if you know you're right at the beginning or you know you're, you're finishing on that note and you're not going down any further, Finger two or three is also okay to get going or to finish. And that's the same for two octaves as well. So here's two octaves. I'm just gonna stick with finger four at the bottom for consistency. Four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four. You can see in that second octave when I came down why I needed finger four there. So here's the left hand in one octave. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Alternatively, you could use finger two at the top, but you would need finger three when we carry on and do another octave. So here's two octaves in the left hand. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, three. Could use two because it's at the top though. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. E flat major now has three flats. We have a flat on the root and the fourth note of the scale like we did in the previous key. Now we also have a flat note on the fifth note of the scale. This right hand fingering is gonna feel a little bit different but it's kind of similar to B flat. So the right hand in one octave is three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. And at the bottom, you could start and end on finger two, although you'd need three if you're gonna carry on downwards. Here's two octaves in the right hand. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. The left hand fingers are the same as B flat major. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And if you wanted, you could use finger two on the top note when you're coming back down again. Here's two octaves. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. The next key, A flat major, now has four flats on the first, second, fourth, and fifth notes of the scale. Is the right hand in one octave. Three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, one, three, two, one, four, three. Now, alternatively, you could begin and end on two and three instead of three and four. Three and four keeps it consistent for when we reach that octave on finger three or if we were gonna carry on and do another octave. When you're a beginner though, it may be less confusing to stick to the same thing each time though and stick to three and four. Here's two octaves. I'm gonna start here for this one so I don't go off the edge. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three. The left hand is just the same as B flat and E flat were in the left hand. Here's one octave. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Once again, you could use two at the top. Here's two octaves. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. D flat major now has five flats in it, so that's every single black key. The right hand in one octave is 
two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, four, three, two, one, three, two. Here you could use finger three at the top if you're not gonna go on any further if you like. Here's the right hand in two octaves. Two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two. The left hand is also the same as B flat, E flat, and A flat. Here's one octave. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Again, you can use finger two at the top if you want. Here's two octaves. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. The last key then, it's quite common for it to either be called G flat major or F sharp major. It has the same notes on the piano, but they would have different names, the flat spellings or the sharp spellings. So it's gonna use all five black keys again, but with either name, G flat or F sharp, there's gonna be one white key with a flat or a sharp name. If we call it G flat major, we have to call this note B a C flat. It's flat below the note C. It's the fourth note in the scale, and that's the fourth letter along from G. G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat. If we call it F sharp major, the seventh note in the scale is this note F, but it's called F sharp, and we don't want to use the letter F twice, so we'd call this note an E sharp instead. It's a half step above E, so we'd have E sharp, and then F sharp. Either way, the fingers are the same. Here's one octave in the right hand. I'm gonna start on finger two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. One, three, two, one, four, three, two. Alternatively, you can use finger three whenever you reach the top. Here's two octaves. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. One, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two. One, four, three, two. And here's the left hand in one octave. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Alternatively, you could use two or three at the top. I just used four because it's the same as where we started and you'd need four in a second for when we carry on and do another octave. So here's two octaves in the left hand. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four.